Hello again, everybody. This is TJ, the Stereo Bargain File. And today, I'm going to be giving a full review, top to bottom, to you all of the Emotiva Base X A300. I'm going to be ba basing my ratings, my review, and everything on its price point, which is $399 US. That's right, you all. $399 US. Okay. So this amp is the Emotiva Base X A300. It's a two-channel amplifier that is a Class AB amplifier. That's right, a Class AB amplifier and $400 normally don't go together. But it does with the Emotiva Base X A300. But anyways, this amp is rated at 150 watts per channel RMS at 8 ohms. And it doubles up the 300 watts per channel at 4 ohms. This amplifier weighs 25 pounds. Its dimensions are 17 inches wide, 4 inches high, and 16 inches deep. So, I want to start off my review scoring of the build, of the outside build quality of this amp. You know, it, it's built with heavy duty steel. I think it's like RU4 steel. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. The front fascia plate is made of machine aluminum. This amp is built like a tank. And the build quality on this amp, I gave it five stars. Straight up five stars for $399. To get an amp built like that is great. So now, I'm going to turn it around to the back of the unit. And I'm going to tell you what all we get in the back. Okay, here in the back of the unit, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start out with the five-way binding post. You know, you got your left and right channel. These are your five-way binding posts, and they are of audio file quality. And then above that, you have your RCA unbalanced inputs. Then over here, you have your trigger, your 12-volt trigger. A lot of people will say, well, what's a 12-volt trigger? Well, your 12-volt trigger, you'll plug into that, and you'll plug it to your preamp. That way, you don't have to keep turning your amp off and on, off and on. You can just turn your preamp off. It'll give a signal to the 12 volt trigger and it'll turn the Emotiva into standby mode, which makes it really easy. But not only does it have that, you know, coming into it, but it also has one going out. So you have two right here one coming in, one going out. So you can run another one out to another amplifier. That way, when you turn your preamp off, it'll turn both amps into standby mode. And then above that, you have your light switch. I'll show you a little bit later on the front of this unit. You have two little LED lights in the front that let you know both channels are working properly. Then over here on y'all's right side, you all got your switch. Now this switch here, this power switch, is automatic. It does it its own from 115 volts and 230 volts. You don't have to hit a switch for that like you do in a lot of amplifier. Emotiva has already done that for you. All you got to do is plug it up and it will recognize its voltage. And um, what I really want to do now, you also have a detachable power cord here in the back. You got that is your IEC power cord. This is really nice for a 399 US dollar amplifier. You normally don't see a detachable power cord. And you normally on them at this price range, you normally see one that is as thin as a, um, a lamp light, you know, a lamp light that you plug in the wall. You'll see some real skinny wire. Well, this one came with a decent power cable, but this enables you to be able to upgrade that power cord. So now I'm going to pause it just for a second because I'm going to do something that most people don't do in their reviews of audio products. And I always want to see them do this and they don't do it, but I'm going to do it for you. That's right. I'm going to take the cover off this and we're going to look inside this amplifier and see what makes it tick. So hold on for just one minute. Okay, I am back. I have got the top off this Emotiva Base X A300. So let's start off. Go through the power cord. Here we go. Here's your, here I'm trying to use a flashlight a little bit too to give you all a little bit better look of the inside. But look at that huge Toledo transformer. That transformer is huge. I ain't got the biggest hands in the world, but I already told you all about the dimensions. Look at my hand compared to that. Normally, you only see a transformer like that in a thousand dollar plus 
amplifier. That is huge. And then it is feeding, that's right, it is feeding our uh, capacitors, our uh, high filter capacitors. These are 10,000 microfarads a piece, and there's four of them. So that gives you 40,000 microfarads. I guess that'd be 20,000 on each channel going like left and right. And as you see here, right there with the light, this thing right here, they got a little heat sink, which is great having that heat sink right there because you really want to keep the heat. That's the longevity of your filter capacitors is trying to keep them cool. Normally they, they do last a long time, but they'll even last longer if you keep them cool. It got a little heat sink there. You come over here to the back of it, you see another little heat sink, sink right there with a little transistor mounted to it. See if that other one, oh yeah, that other one has a, let's see, yeah, it's got a transistor right there also. So we'll run it all the way across. Now we're going to follow the power. We'll come right across. Oh, here we got the big, huge power sink heavy duty power sink then it it comes through here and then look it's going to come underneath you see them red wires here i'll show you why red wires are going underneath here and they're coming out and they're going through these output transistors that's what these are you got four big ones and then you got two small ones and then you see your little splitter there's a little splitter right there in the middle right here and then it runs out. Oh, it comes from underneath of it. And then you can see here, go straight out to your speakers. And they got this grounded somewhere else. But this is the inside of this bad boy. I mean, for $399, you don't see a huge toilet transformer like this. Not in 399 bucks. And that right there, that big, huge, huge Toledo transformer. That's going to give you some nice dynamics and sound stage. That's that that that's oh man, that's that just really gets me. That that's like the that's the prize right there when you buy this. But anyways, I'm going to pause this and I'm going to go over the sound quality. Okay, now for for the sound quality, the top end, the high end, to me it sounded. You know, and I'm basing all this on its price point, remember that, and I did use a warm preamp with this. On the top end, the highs sounded really clear, crisp, and clarity. It was refined, not overly bright. To me, it was just, I'd say, neutral sounding. Now for the mid-range. The mid-range has a touch of warmness to it. Very accurate, with great instrument separation, as the top end does also. So it is a little bit on the warm side of neutral. Now for the low end sound, the, the bass has a good control punch to it. It keeps up to speed, no problems at all. It's not boomy. So overall, from 3000 hertz and up, the high end, the top end frequency, I scored it at a 4.5. Now at the mid range frequency of 200 hertz to 3000 hertz, I scored this unit amp at a 4.7. Now for the sub bass, the low end, 10 hertz to 60 hertz, I scored this amp a 4.0. And uh, all together, that equals a 4.4. But I wanted to go ahead and bump it up to a 4.5. If you ask, well, why is that? I was like, well, you know, for the money, what shocked me most about this amplifier was the imaging and the dynamics. I mean, it just... It, it, it blew me away. So the overall sound, I'm going to score it at a 4.5. Now, as we all know, you have your pros and you have your cons. I'm going to go over the pros first. Okay, the pros of this amp. The price. I mean, the price. This amp is a budget bargain buy. With real high fidelity sound, true class AB amplification, Nice compact size, easy to purchase. It also has a three year warranty by a company that backs up their products. And the sound to me is that of a seven to eight hundred dollar two channel amplifier. It's got great build quality. The weight equals the wattage. 
And lastly, great customer service. In Motiva, uh, I've done a lot of research. I didn't see a lot of problems at all with this amplifier, but with anything electronic, you know, you're go, you're not, you know, some are going to have problems. You know, it could be your own electric in your house. You could have some kind of feedback, you know, even coming from your own box. But anyways, everything I've heard from people is Emotiva uh, customer service really takes good care of you. And um, I've owned a lot of amp amplifiers. Since 1989, I've owned separate amplifiers, most of them being used. And the majority of them being under a thousand dollars even you know 20 30 years ago but this being at 399 dollars is about got me speechless but um as you all know nothing's perfect at all so i'm gonna go to what i think some people may think is a con and some others may not but i'm gonna go ahead and throw this out there um some audio files won't like that it doesn't have XLR inputs on the back of this amp. XLR are balanced inputs, but normally to get XLR balanced inputs, you're talking about an amp that you're gonna to have to pay twice as much as, as this amplifier on average, maybe three times more. And then you know, uh, some people ain't gonna like that this amplifier doesn't have gain controls, where you control the gain up yourself. Me, myself, and a lot of other people will like that we don't have to mess with the gain controls. I mean, it's all controlled inside. Emotiva has done taken care of that for you. But some people will, they, well, they won't like that. And some other people, lastly, they, uh, they won't like that it doesn't have an inline fuse on the back of the unit. But Emotiva does have an internal fault protection circuit. But anyways, that was all of the cons. I think they kind of, you know, equaled each other out. And uh, now for my conclusion. Okay, now for my conclusion. This amp, this Emotiva Base X A300 amp, will be very hard to beat in sound quality and build quality at its price point. Things I noticed with this amp are the three C's. Clear crisp clarity it has a very nice sound straight stage has great dynamics this amp really does give you a good taste a real high fidelity sound at a very low price it would be hard for any i mean any audio company to match its total performance and overall with the total scoring i listened to it for over a week i scored it a 4.7 now, one of the tips I'm going to give you all is when you first get this amp, you unbox it to come double box. It'll have a sleeve that goes over top of it, a really nice cover. And uh, I just want to say, when you first plug it up, don't judge it right then. This amplifier really does need, in my opinion, 8 to 10 hours of break-in. Don't get it new and turn it up full blast and be wearing it out. I'm going to go ahead and tell you straight up. I left this amp completely on, no standby mode. I left it completely on for, dang, six days, five, six days I left it on. I played hours and hours of music through it. And I'm telling you, after that first day, I was just sitting there listening to it and bam, it changed. When I first got it and got it out of the box, it sounded a little thin at the first. At the first and just a little little bit on the bright side of neutral but after it got broken in after about 10 hours it sounded completely different I couldn't believe what I was hearing and you know a lot of people you know with speakers especially they say oh there ain't no break-in period well unless you owned every speaker how can you say that if you ain't owned every amplifier how can you say that but anyways um, to wrap all this up to wrap up this review, you know, I gave this amplifier a total, a total score. Sorry about that, you all. My uh, video camera was dying on me. But anyways, I gave this amplifier a total score of a 4.7 out of 5 stars. That's a 4.7 out of 5 stars. 
I mean, for $399 a U.S., you know, I just, I, I want to give Dan Lofman, the president of CEO, a personal thank you from the stereo bargain file for going out and making high-fidelity audio affordable to us people who work from paycheck to paycheck to be able to afford audio hi-fi that was only attainable by the financially wealthy. Th thanks again, Dan Lofman. I really appreciate that. You know, you uh, I've done a little reading up on you, and that's what you set out to do, and uh, buddy, you did it. Thanks again, Don, Don Dan Lofman. And until next time, this is TJ, the Stereo Bargain File. Peace.